Hey guys, we're going to be doing a store review today, and we're going to talk about the prices because they're pretty high, and that's not good. They've been increasing the prices. So for the Flood Bundle, it includes the Contaminator and the Blighter, and this right here is the Contaminator. And it does look so good. Look at it, all the Flood, not the, on the, not this part, that, that's from the Battle Pass, but look at the shoulders. They look so disgusting and good. The chest is really good as well. Like you have all of these like blisters and stuff like ready to pop off goo and I guess flood supercells all over. And it's very gross so that's really good. But it's 2000 credits so that's not good. That's like going back to the really old prices which were way too high. And honestly, that's not acceptable, having such high prices like that. Stuff is cross-core, but it should have been cross-core and cross-helmets in the first place. So it shouldn't be this high. This is like the minimum we expect. It's not an extra. So it's not like we shouldn't be charged extra for something extra. It's the minimum. Still, it does look pretty good. Knee pads are very... No, oh, those are from the... No, yeah, that's from the bundle. They look pretty good. Eh? And let's look at the head. But there's also the chest, which is like maybe the best chest, I think. Out of all of the flood chests so far. And the head, it does come with like these tentacles right here. That's an attachment you can take on, on or off. And just look at it like it's it busted out of the helmet. There's a huge brain blister. I mean, the information has been absorbed. You don't need the brain anymore. So you can use that biomass, I guess. It looks disgusting and it looks great. And I like the flood rocket launcher too. You have some of the sensors and just some of the biomass on it. The whole thing corrupted with the Spartan. The coding is uh, interesting, but... Uh, we are getting a lot of coatings like that. That coating is like that brown, yellowish color with some like reddish accents, red brown accents. I do like this bundle. It's just expensive. And honestly, they really did a great job with the flood. Like the head, the blisters. Oh, yes. The little thing here that's the effect for the flood super bundle that you get extra. Um, my, in my opinion, um, it could have done a, been done a little bit better. This is almost like a Flood Mohawk thing. Uh, it flows a little bit too much, but it's still cool. I do like the Flood sort of particles that it gives off. Five minutes remaining. Oop. Anyways, so, yeah. I do really like the bundle. So let's move on to the next one. Hey guys, so this is... Well, I don't know why I said hey guys again, because I started recording again. But this is the other bundle, the Blighter bundle. And it's more Flood. And it looks pretty awesome. The shoulders are cool, interesting coating. The, the, it looks sort of like scale, but like bloody scale. I don't know. It looks a little bit weird in a way. Like, I guess... It's like skin or scales. I don't know, it's interesting. So yeah, we have uh, more flood and it's the EVA helmet this time. Um, yeah, it's gruesome and like look at how tall this is. You, you can't really shoot it, pretty sure, because it doesn't have collision. But anyways, yes, it's cool. I like it, gruesome. Uh... It has the shotgun shells, and they're infected, I guess. And, and wow, when you think about it, the shoulders, it, it has to have, um, like, it has to have gotten infected very much for, the sh for it to go that much into the shoulders. We also have the chest, which is, um, well, some people have pointed out that, yeah, you can color the chests now and stuff, so this... The grenades and stuff will take different colors, but the stripe of color that should remain static isn't present. So that's maybe a little detail that they missed. 
But this one has a little bit less biomass on the chest, so it's not my favorite chest, but it's still there. And you also get the attachment. You can use this attachment right here on the other Mark V B helmet. This like little corrupted flood sensor. It relays information back to the flood. The coding is uh yeah, we talked about the coding. And look, the sniper rifle. It's infected. And it's pretty cool. I like it. Um this one Yeah, it has blisters. There they are. Look at how gross that is. I like how gross gro gross they made everything look. So yeah, again, it's still two thousand dollars for this. I mean two thousand credits on dollars. Um still it's it's too expensive, you know. They it shouldn't be any that expensive. They've honestly increased the prices and that's not good. The super bundle is two thousand eight hundred, which is better to get both of them, but mm, it sucks that it, they made it like so expensive. I this needs to change and honestly I think more people and content creators need to call Fear for Free out on this because raising the prices is not good. So I still like it, like the flood stuff. I really it's gross. I really like it in general. So now let's uh well you also get a kill effect from the flood bundle which is pretty cool. Um you see like tentacle stuff going on. By the way, they do work on AIs. So that's fun. Anyways, let's look at the last bundle. And this is the last bundle, which is Hivebreaker Viper. This is actually a helmet from Halo 5, but from the previous games, but oof, honestly, I think they changed it too much. It does look cool, but this looks too different in my opinion. And I don't like that they're changing some of the old helmets too much. It should definitely still look more recognizable. Like, it's cool, this one, but to make it that much of a different helmet from the Gen 2 variant, not as big of a fan. The visor color is interesting. It's very matte and the pattern is interesting. But this covering is also really cool. Very tactical as well. The plasma grenades, those look funny. It's like a plasma grenade holder. So that's six plasma grenades. Um, you can spam them, I guess. Well, you could. It would be unfun for whoever's a target. This is like a medical kit with stuff. Um, I like it. It takes the color of the, the coating, which I also like. So that's a good attachment. I do wish like we had cross core attachments on utilities and even shoulders like i don't think there's anything restricting this on the mark 7 you know the chest is nice i like it it's the only chest that can have a color with rakshasa so far there will be more but this is the one and i like it i like the pack military all of that pretty good the gloves are pretty nice they have like these uh, sort of str not strings but like tubes and it's interesting i definitely like the coding it looks pretty good and it looks good on every core i think sort of um a, a bit of more of a serious color pattern uh by serious i mean like well it's not 100 percent like military military right like with camo but it's not like bright red and so on so it's it's still good and i like it and then we also have the sniper uh some people like it in third person more than they do in first person it looks a little bit more classic i guess some people have said that but uh oh yeah there's also like the coding on the sniper but yeah it's it's not it's not like the classic halo 3 halo 2 halo c those are different models anyways or reach uh per se but there's there's some differences but yeah um it has like this little cage thing on top i'm not sure what it's for and there's a few differences so if you want a different sniper model 
there you go and good armor in my opinion so this is a good bundle for the rakshasa but again that's also 2000 credits which is not good so if you wanted to get all, all in the store you need 4800 credits this week which is not fun and uh oh yeah guys please recommend and share my video so i can get monetization so i can pay for all of the stuff lately i've getting i've been getting good views and if i if i can keep that up then it's finally gonna be able to be you know better for me so your support's appreciated you know do all of the stuff you would do to support me so yeah i guess this is a good point to uh end it please tell free for free the prices are too high it's still a really cool looking armor so all right that's been my review guys see you guys next time